Alright, in this tutorial I'll just show you a really fast and uh, efficient method for UV unwrapping spline type shapes, so it could be a rope, um, electrical cable, or in this case a road, but we'll just start off with a simple example. So, uh, you know, shapes, create a line, radial, top view, Alt W to maximize the view, and we'll just drag out our shape, so you can hold the left mouse button to create a, a bezier uh, corner, or curve. You can come in and adjust later if you want, but we'll just keep it simple. Right click to end. Yeah, um, right, so we'll uh, right click again and right click again. Convert it out of a poly and go to the polygon sub object. So if we zoom in F3 to show uh, the toggle between selected faces, or sorry, edge faces. Right, so you can see here. Uh, when you convert the spline shape to a poly surface, it'll create a cap it off here at the ends. A giant angle on one end, and a giant angle on and two tries on the other end. And that's <coughs> always the case. You'll always get these triangles. So just a handy, quick way to get rid of them. I always use is uh, the one selective. You select the other one, and then without having to go in here and zoom in and click on the triangles, all you have to do is just click grow, shrink, and then it'll. it'll take them into the selection as well so hit the lead now we want to uh, add an unwrap UVW modifier right so the tool we're going to use here is uh, to edge mode and select one of your edges along the circumference click ring select the ring and the tool we're going to use here is under the wrap rollout it's uh, called unfold strip from loop it used to be the spline mapping used to be used for this method but I always found it a pain in the ass so this tool here is a one click solution so we'll open the UV editor you can see now that the mapping is um, that's applied the default mapping it's just uh, pretty insane and projected from crazy uh, places so what we're going to do is uh <coughs> sorry we have uh, we go in here again select our edge ring and one click and there we go it's uh it's unwrapped it perfectly and it's huge now in comparison in relation to uh, 0 to 1 so the larger um, a UV patch or element <laughs> or island is um, in relation to you you know 0 to 1 UV space or just in the UV window in general um, the higher the resolution so if we zoom texture resolution if we zoom right in here you can see it's a uh, being unwrapped pretty perfectly so I'm just gonna grab that element element sub object or sorry yeah select by element toggle so we can use this pack just to pack it down into a more manageable area and then um, here now is uh, don't worry about what it looked like that because it's all we did was scale it down uniformly by packing it it's still perfectly unwrapped so we'll delete that object and go back to shapes line switch it to rectangular and oh yeah another thing was just make sure you have enable and viewport here checked just so you can see what's going on right so we go back to hit T for top view or you can also click the sorry press V hotkey and then you can select any views because by default the right view and the bottom view don't have a uh, hotkey so this is just a handy way to do that so V and then you get that, that pop up right so we'll uh, we have rectangular selected here and just draw out our curved surface to represent the road right click the end and you can see here it's this isn't the default, I think it's usually 6, but you can just up that to take away the faceted look, or else you could just leave it at 6 and um, apply a turbo smooth layer. It's whichever you prefer, but sometimes with turbo smooth, you're going to have issues when it's on top of the, uh, or sorry, when it's underneath your mapping. Sorry, when it's on top of your mapping, um, it's going to. Uh, 
you're smoothing your mesh after your mapping's been applied so it can affect it strangely now Max still is lacking in the proper smooth UV tools but uh, we won't get into all that here okay where was I um, right should we leave the steps there and uh, we right click now we orbit around you'll see it's a rectangular so we want our road to be flat so right click convert to edible poly polygon sub object if you just click a face and then shift click on a joining face it will select the ring so if I did it this way it would select that ring so it's a handy little tool so click shift click and delete and don't forget to get rid of these as I said earlier on that converting a spline shape to uh, a poly surface will always create these tries so you can see it's hasn't done it on this end it's continued around the ring it's stopped here obviously because these are triangles so we'll delete them manually and we can either click shift click select it because they're separated now or else we go into element and just select the element either either whichever floats your boat so delete that the bottom half now we have the top half and we can uh, Exit out, add an unwrap, and open the UV editor. And you can see the same thing. UVs are completely unusable for um, for what we want to do to use a tiled road texture. Now, obviously, you could um, you could select them and do a a planar projection, and you're going to get the same. Well, it's not actually perfect, but uh, let's see. We will what? Yeah. sorry, you have to exit out of this. If we scale it wrong way, if we scale horizontally, we can square it up, and then if you wanted to, you could render out this UVW template and just go in and paint it in Photoshop or whatever but that's obviously a pain in the ass and what we don't want to have to do so um, what we're going to do is the same as we did with the, sp the cylindrical spline edge select our edge ring selection and one click we can rotate that then suit or uh, pack it down rotate it to suit our texture yeah. okay so uh, just click out of that and hit M to bring up the material editor or you can click this button over here and a diffuse slot of a material we'll just select our bitmap so I just have a road basic kind of road texture I downloaded off Google or say it as an image double click that and we come back over here no it's not showing up okay so uh, we'll just go to uh, this sh the, that road texture should be shown up here in this in this drop down so Sometimes if you hit reset texture, it'll show up again, but for whatever reason it isn't. So uh, we'll just go to um, big texture and just choose our road again. Now we'll um, select an edge here, loop, and conform horizontally with our movement tool bring that row of edges across line them up where you want say halfway in that and same on this side select an edge loop and move them across ok so we just apply this and show map and viewport once you're inside the uh, inside the bitmap itself the level of the bitmap so here we are and you 
can see now our road is uh, is following. Oh, sorry, our road texture is following the curvature of our road surface, but it's way way stretched in the V. So you can just up this, and now you can see. I'll just close that down. See now, you can just show your seams here over here. The, the configure display drop down so you can see now it's it's perfectly. Uh, I'm just want to go in here, right click, configure viewport, and just check off display selected faces. Display selected edge face. Right, so there we go, that's our road and. You know, it's, it's only a 1K texture, I think, but it's it's done the job nicely. And I remember, um, you could always uh, go in. You could collapse this down when you're happy. Just right-click and collapse all. Now the UVs are baked into the mesh, <coughs> and uh, not any time. You know, you can add and unwrap back in, and your UVs will always be there. So don't worry about collapsing the stack because it bakes in the UVs. So that's pretty much it, and uh, I hope it's useful. All right, cheers, good luck.